Hey everyone and welcome back. So today I'm going to share with you another update on my big plan and project for 2023. I'm going to start with showing you the updated design and afterwards I'm going to reveal the cover which is not as special as you think it is going to be. It's, it's quite basic. Um, afterwards Near the end of the video, I'm going to show to you the project plan so that you can get an idea of where we are timeline-wise, um, what still needs to be done, what had, has already been done and what I'm currently working on, as well as some ch challenges I'm currently facing. Because, of course, no project without a challenge. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the design. I made some changes, smaller ones. So, first of all, we are still working on the German version. I decided to finalize the German version regarding concept and design before starting the English version, that is, before translating everything into English. I changed the title of the German version. It now doesn't say Uta's Planner anymore, it says Uta's Planner, which is basically the German word. I I already thought about doing that right at the beginning when I started to work on this project but wasn't quite sure. Then I started talking to a couple of people, showing them my draft and I think it feels better to have a German title on the German version and an English title on the English version. So this is the not exactly the major change but um, this is an important change that had to be made. So up next um, on the page that would say in English this planner belongs to, in German is dieser planner gehört. I simply changed the color of the lines. I made them a more grayish style. Um, I didn't really like the bold look of the plain black. Then up next we have the annual overview of 2023. And here I simply added the days of the week, nothing else. So that was something that I already talked about in my last video and I just realized it now. Okay, then we have the log for 2024. Here the major changes are again like on the first page um, that the lines are a different color. Gray again. Then we have the goals for 2023 with the empty page, a checklist page, again, gray lines, and the quarterly pages for the goals. So you can see basically everywhere where I have like lined things or those checklists with lines, I changed the color to gray. There are all, also lines here, but I think um, my browser doesn't want to show them yet. <laughs> Okay, then we have the overview for the birthdays. I think I didn't change anything there. Then the note section with 10 line pages, followed by four checklist pages. Then uh, here we have the last week of December and the first week of January. Again, the lines are now in gray. And right after this week, we have the first monthly overview, starting with January. Um, the lines on this side are also gray now. And then we have the different weeks and so on and so forth. So we always have a monthly layout followed by weeklies. That's mostly because I simply don't like to have all the monthlies following all the weeklies, I like to have it mixed, so to say. And then let's go to the end of the planner. After the last week of December, we have two pages for highlights of 2023. And those boxes are left blank on purpose because you can write in here, you can, I don't know, scrapbook in here, you can draw in here, whatever strikes your fancy, so to say. I love um, having a page for such highlights in my journal, but it 
I think it would also be quite, I don't know, fun to have it in your planner. You know, this everything in one spot idea that I love. All right. So that is the content and its updates. Now, the cover, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, it's not nothing too fancy. It's I, I decided to leave it black because most planners in the end are being customized by its owner. This also includes cover. Apart from that, I think leaving it just black is the most popular option. I simply added a title, the year and a tiny flower or a plant that I created to give it a bit of personal touch, but that's it. This um, goes well with the uh, puristic style of the rest of the planner, I think. I wanted to leave everything quite basic so that you can create with it. It's just the basis on which you basically add your planning. And this also means your design. All right, then we have, let me just quickly check the project plan. Or at least the plan that I came up with at the beginning of the project. Um, every project plan is subject to changes and I will have to make some changes soon because I am working in a quite different order especially in this section but let's start at the top so I have four sections it's the project management the German version the English version and the digital material so project management of course includes concept plan and the actual go live date just in case you're wondering, I'm an IT person, therefore I do project plans with so-called go-live dates. <laughs> Sorry for that, but that's just my background. Then we have the German version with its drafts, its corrections, its proof copies, cor reviews and uh, the publishing date. Afterwards, same for the English version. Then we have the digital material, that I want to provide, like the printables, for example, which means I have to choose a platform. I have to set it up, create printables, publish them, and I also want to create some videos and have to publish them. Everything is going quite well. Um, as I mentioned, I made some changes around here, so I'm already in the concept of proof, copy and review. I'm at the end of April as I'm recording this video, so I'm about here, I would say, timeline-wise. So I'm already into the upload to Amazon, auto proof copy and review and correction part. This is where I'm working on at the moment. What is quite challenging at the moment is actually the online platform. I started working on reviewing a couple of options and choosing one in March. Now I'm in April and I actually wanted to start with the initial setup but the issue at the moment is I decided to go for Google Workspace and use Google Sites and um, Gmail and such but the big but is um, if you're using Google Workspace in Germany the only option to pay for it is by credit card. Well, the credit card itself isn't the issue. I have a credit card. But the bank where I have my account doesn't allow using Google Pay. I don't know why it's such a big issue in Germany, but every bank here in Germany seems to seems to try to come up with a, their own version of Google Pay. Therefore, they're not allowing to use their credit cards for Google Pay. But you can only pay via credit card in Germany if you have something that needs to be paid by Google Pay. So that is 
something that troubles me at the moment. I'm not quite sure whether I want to go with an alternative platform or whether I'll be looking for a different bank. Different bank is kind of difficult because um, there are others like the bank I'm currently having my account at that don't allow Google Pay with our credit cards. Um, I already looked up a couple of alternatives and they also have the same policy as my current bank. So yeah, some challenges at this point. I'm trying to solve this in the next couple of weeks and hopefully when I'm recording the next update I will have a solution on that and can already provide you with a URL for the platform so that you can start looking around. We will see. Yeah, so what's next? Um, as I said, I'm currently working on proof of concept and reviewing, uh, proof copy, I'm sorry, proof copy and reviewing. I'm in the process of finalizing German version and after that is done, which will probably be next week, I will be working on translating everything into English. I'm still working on printables. I had some cute ideas already and um, it's going to be, of course, a bit of floral stuff. Um, some magical stuff, so to say. And um, nothing too fancy, but kind of cute. So there will be something as soon as the platform goes live that I can show to you. And maybe um, in the next update video, I can also show you some of my drafts. Some are already finalized, some are still work in progress, um, so different stages there, but the printables are in the process of being developed. Yeah, and the big uh, point that I'm still working on is, as I said, the platform, but I hope to get this one solved pretty soon. All right, then I would say thank you for watching. See you soon with a lot of updates, I hope, positive ones. <laughs> and bye-bye.